Top 7.6 Sales in Foreign Currency First of all, before we do the transaction of sales, we have to do the setting first in our item price by currency. Please go to Stock, select More Stock Maintenance, then click on Item Price by Currency Maintenance. This item price currency allows you to set specific for stock item with different currency. Now, check the item code, then select the item you wish to change the currency. Because by default, all the stock item will be in Ringgit Malaysia. Unless if you apply the stock item to the specific uh, customer, or supplier then it will follow the default that we set to the special customer or supplier now we select the stock item that we want to set for the special currency which is Samsung 70 PHS 001 check also for the currency for the currency option you may set it now or later under the edit button Check for currency and select for Singapore dollar SGD. UOM is optional. You may also choose for unit. After you have done select, then click on edit. So here you will see only Samsung 70 has been played in this window. Now you will see the currency also has been chosen with SGD. But if you wish to change, you may change it here to other currency. For the pricing, there's two options for you. You may choose to put the price here at the bottom row or you may enter the price under the price column on the top here. So, the currency for the Singapore dollar of Samsung 70 will be 900 Singapore dollar. Please make sure that you uncheck the delete button because if you check, it won't save for you, means you want to delete this item. Then click on OK. You will see the Samsung 70 already been updated here. Then we select the second item which is Samsung 85. Then click on Edit. The currency will be also in Singapore dollar. Enter the price which is 1200 for Samsung 85. Make sure that the delete, uncheck, then click on OK. So, we have done set two stock item under our item price by currency. Close the item price by currency. So, we have done set for item price by currency. And before you are able to proceed to the transaction, there's one setting you have to do. What you need to do, you have to go to Tools and under the Tools, select Option. Under the category of Invoicing, select Auto Pricing. You have to focus under Sales Auto Pricing. Please make sure that you have unchecked Use Multi Pricing. Because if you check Use Multi Pricing, system will use the default price. But if you check for use price book only, the system will follow the price that you have changed just now in the item price book. After you have unchecked use multi pricing, then click on OK. Now it's time for us to create the first transaction under sales invoice. Click the new button to add the new transaction. The adapter will be customer for Singapore dollar. Change the date to 8th of January. Then click the plus sign to add a new row. For the item code, we select the item of Samsung 70. And then for the quantity, change to 2 unit. Now, focus on the unit price. The unit price already changed to 900 you add, uh, has been changed to 900 Singapore dollar, which is the new price that we have set in our item price by currency just now. The original price in Ring Malaysia that we have set in chapter 4 is 1500 ringgit for Samsung 70. You may minimize the 
transaction and check under stock stock item maintenance under Samsung 70 you will see the selling price is on 1500 ringgit Malaysia now close this one we go back to our transaction once you have done set for this one please make sure that proceed new invoice is unchecked since you only have one transaction now look at under local total here the local total is 3960 ringgit this one because our rate is 2.2 percent now we assume the rate for the currency of Singapore dollar has been dropped so we change the rate to 2.15 percent so once we have changed automatic the local total also been changed to 3870 ringgit so the price has been reduced since the rate also has been changed so once we have done save now we have done for the transaction of sales invoice let's do the second transaction which is under ar ar invoice entry you will see automatic the transaction that you have created under sales invoice has been posted automatic to ar invoice so under this ar invoice you can also check the transaction that you have done for sales invoice now click the plus sign to add a new transaction of invoice select the data which is customer 4 and then change the date to 9th of january now click the plus sign to add a new row the sales account will be sales or you may type in 500-0000 to select the sales account now enter the amount first which is 2700 since just now we have done a transaction of sales invoice our rate of currency has been dropped to 2.15 so you have to change the rate to change the rate is not under to account rate you have to change the rate under the currency rate on the top here so change it to 2.15 automatic to account rate will be changed also so the subtotal okay and the net total is 2700 and after has been converted to the ring of measure automatic system will calculate the local net total is 5805 enter the description which is sale and then please don't forget to uncheck for proceed new AR invoice before you click on save now we have done a transaction of AR invoice close the transaction of AR invoice let's view our journal of transaction report so you go to GL journal of transaction report we want to view this journal of transaction report before the customer made the payment to us please change the date to 1st of January until 31st of January the journal type you may filter by multi select and select only sales journal and also general journal then click on ok after that click on inquiry now this is the journal of transaction before customer made a payment to us and as you can see the amount on the debit and credit side is the amount by default currency which is in ringgit malaysia now if you want to see the original amount before convert to ringgit malaysia you may click on the header right click and select column chooser bring out the column of currency code out and then bring out the original credit and also original debit column now close the customization box you will see on the customer 4 or original amount is 1800 this is the transaction that we have done in our sales invoice the original amount is 1800 and after has been converted to ringgit malaysia is 3870 ringgit now for the second transaction which is under AR invoice 
is 2700 um, correction 2700 Singapore dollar and after being converted to ringgit Malaysia is 5805 ringgit uh, 5 ringgit and will be debit to customer for and credit to sales account now you may click on preview to view in the journal of transaction listing this is the journal of transaction listing but it will show only the the amount that has been converted to the default currency which is ringgit malaysia now after you have done view the journal of transaction listing this one you may export to any other format and you can also call, send by email and send by fax and also send to whatsapp now close print preview let's say we assume the customer 4 has come back to do the payment so we record under AR AR receive payment click the new button to add the transaction now the debtor is customer 4 description you may type is payment by account and then select the date which is 11 of January for the payment method we select is PBBPJ and the payment amount is 2700 to bank rate for Singapore dollar to Malaysia this one we have to change again to 2.13 means that the currency rate already changed and dropped to 2.13 so we have to change again automatic to bank rate is, has been changed and the local amount has been changed also to 5751 ringgit now after you have done please note off invoice number two and the invoice number two the outstanding amount is zero so once you have done, please click on save. Do you want to enter check number? Since we don't have check number, just click on no. And automatic system will show set for inch exchange gain and loss posting. So here we already know that after the drop of the currency rate, our company has lost amount of negative 54 ringgit. Then we click on OK. Now we have done record the transaction, uh, the payment made by customer. Let's view again our journal of transaction report. Now for journal type, we change again and we add for bank because just now for the payment has been made to PBBPJ. Then we click on OK. Now click on inquiry. Automatically, you see on the bank here has been listed, but the amount is after convert to default currency which is ringgit malaysia you may right click select column chooser and bring out the column of original credit and also original debit now you will see under pbbpj already credit 1000 singapore dollar and after we converted is 3500 but here is already debited with 2700 this is the payment made from our customer for and after the loss of orange exchange the total amount that we receive is 5751 ringgit and this is the loss of orange exchange is 54 ringgit Okay, on the customer for already the credit 54 and in our loss on foreign exchange already debit 54 ringgit. So, if you want to preview in the listing format, this is the journal of transaction listing and it will show the final amount after loss on foreign exchange which is 5751 ringgit and this is the amount in default currency which is ringgit malaysia so once we have done you may click on close that's all for task 7.6